Hiya Toys King Ghidorah. And what can I say? In short, yeah, he's well worth it. Go get him right now. But there, uh, as as for my long review, well, that's why we're going right now. Hi everybody, this is Ark Samurai Mike, and I literally got this Hiya Toys got King Ghidorah at Gun Dammit. But unfortunately, at the time of review, he's pretty much sold out. But you can also get other Godzilla stuff in that store in the description. And of course, if you want to see more, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I would really appreciate it. Now on to the review. So, the overall opinion and scope of this uh, King Ghidorah is amazing. But he is not without his flaws, because there's no such thing as perfect figure. Now, let me all know that... Uh, before I got this figure, I've heard some reports that there have been some uh, rep kind of quality control issues with the horns being bending, and I can confirm that. But if you have this problem, it kind of heat it up. But yeah, there's been many reports of other horns that kind of either were warped or kind of break, so do keep in mind that, and it is a bit unfortunate. And of course, do keep in mind that the other quality control issue is with the paint, and not just the paint there. Uh, scraping that you have on the wings but uh, on the body because uh, when you literally got him out of the box he's pretty much connected to a uh, twisty tie uh, no not the twisty ties uh, plastic ties that literally connects to the uh, plastic container but it's not one of those that literally is uh, harder to remove it's literally a simple just pull it up and you may just uh, release it or you can also pull it up and cut it but there's also another problem with this figure is, of course, the lack of paint with uh, the with the uh, spikes on the back, which is a little bit uh, a bummer because uh, I really do like the overall shading they have, but uh, there's some spots that kind of feels a little bit uh, lacking. The main issue I also have with this figure is the uh, connection to the overall um, tail. Because, my god, out of the box, you really, and I mean it, you really need to heat it with hot water, not boiling water, hot water, and heat it up with hair dryer, not for like 30 to 60 seconds, which they pretty much want you to do. I recommend heating it up with, goddamn, a minute or five minutes. To literally get him literally connected all the way in. Because out of the bar, it was stupid tight. And they are not lying about that. You really need to hit, the, hit this bitch up. And it was literally a challenge. It almost got me blistered on my thumbs. And it was a pain. But of course, uh, now it's literally connected. And I can say that, uh, yeah... Yeah, they're rock solid. It still holds. But then, uh, this one I really need to heat it up a little bit more, but yeah. It's still... It is uh, still there. And of course, uh, do keep in mind that some areas, uh, considered with the overall weight of the wing, uh, it will also cause a kind of... Um, uh, kind of a way down the uh, joints over time. But other than those issues, let me just say that, uh, yeah, the oh, of course, the other issue is with the placement on the jaw, because when you hinge out the jaw a little bit further, it will cause the webbings to kind of eject, and it will be difficult to literally get it back on, since it is a pain in the ass. But other than that, yeah, this is literally Ghidorah from 2019. Which we got Ichi, Ni, and of course our boy Kevin. Boy, we do love our boy Kevin. And yeah, let me just say, th yeah, this is literally, this beats the SH Monsters down to the root. I mean, I did like the SH Monsters uh, when I got it. But even I can admit that that one was a piece of garbage. I mean, that motherfucker was just, pain the painting was just pure garbage. 
the overall joints on the heads and the tail was every joints were just super loose and it just falls into bits and let's just say the price what the hell and no beams come on come on man uh, you can do better but let's just say the special color version is a, a beast of its own and it's kind of a little bit better than the official but still not worth that price but yeah the eye placement let's just say yeah that's that is spot on you're telling me that Haya literally just paint literally added the eyes and it still looks like it's looking forward and these are smaller than the uh, SS Monster Godzilla minus one. This one just puts that figure to shame. And even Ni, nee, who has the broken horns as he's supposed to have, just looks extraordinary. Oh my god. It's a gush fest. And Kevin, oh boy, Kevin, while well, looking goofy as he's so supposed to be, yeah, he is just a really handsome fella, isn't he? I do wish it was a little bit better, but still, it is impressive. And of course, the matte finish of the kind of tan coloring, while there's some that is a little bit, could have been a little bit more adjusted, it's still really nice. And that belly, oh, just look at it. Oh my god. And even the scales with the shading, and of course, the shape is correct. And the wings are. My god, the wings, they just look. Oh, it's a gush fest. I can just go for hours explaining how these wings are like the birth of Christ. Never in my life would have I just been gushing over these wings in general. But yeah, these wings are literally just... Oh, it's just a fucking a gush fest. It's so impressive. Well, I still kind of wish there was a little bit more bent here, but I can live with that. Given how much we get for 110 buck, I think they just pulled it off. And even the without the uh, stance, our boy still stands up. And while I still criticize the overall spines on the back, that was a little bit, uh, well, misses some paint. But with the paint that, that is there is still extraordinary. Yeah, this is the King Ghidorah I remember. And of course, oh, the bumps. Everything I just see is just, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just, no, no. I, I cannot, I, I cannot uh, dislike this at all. It's, it's just, oh my god, it's... I just, I just love it. I cannot criticize it. It, it. I just feel bad if I criticize this. The fact that Haya, who is literally a bad guy's competition, a competitor, just made this. Oh my god, this is my alien. Now I don't know why Jobila wants his alien. Take that out, you will. Now for the overall articulation of the King Ghidorah. The head is literally on a ball joint and the whole neck system right here is literally 10 segments which is for all three necks and they are pretty much on a curve but you can still get a slight of a straight line it's just that it's gonna take a long time but yeah it still gets really good poses despite these kind of limitations and of course despite the eye despite the overall uh, design looking a little bit uh, off in some areas it still looks pretty good and even with some limitations of the jaw it still has a opening jaw and it can go really wide but I do recommend that you be careful when you do that because the webbing, the webbing on the sides can also stick out really a bit much especially with uh, Kevin here but for me he can you can pretty much recreate when he literally roared with that open mouth Better than the SH Mozart for sure. And of course the tongue, which is inside, is also on a hinge. But uh, it is a little bit tricky. But yeah, you can get a hinge on And yeah, you see there. Maybe it's a little bit better with knee. Hold on. Let me just uh, get a tool. Wait. Let me show you. 
Okay, so I get a toothpick here and yeah. You get a tongue articulation, which is pretty neat. And the same goes for the tail, which again, you really need to heat that bastard down. Like I recommend, it says 30 to 60 seconds. I recommend goddamn one to five minutes. Heat that motherfucker up. But yeah, after you touch it, it's still, well, pretty much, it holds its pose. It doesn't pop off unless you really pull it hard. The same as the neck, it's literally taking seven minutes and you can really get neat poses of this tail. And of course, it is really stiff out of the box, but once you get a hang of it and heat it up a little bit, it gets a little bit fluid. And of course, I will literally go for the leg now. He has a bulge on the thighs here, which is a little bit limited, but hey, considering how much weight he is, it's pretty expected. And I really do love the shading. And of course, he has a sort of a ball joint, but it is also on a ratchet joint, so he can move out that far and get that much bend. And of course, same for the calf. And of course, he also has a ball joint on the feet, which can move up, down, and also do a really good pivot. And unlike the Essence Martial Arts, this one actually has a waist swivel and a bulging one at that. How impressive is it that? It's incredible. But what's more impressive is the wings. And let me tell you, without the stand, you have the most impressive wing span and the possible, the most possible articulated King Ghidorah wing I've seen. It is literally a combination of uh, SH Monsters Destroyer and of course SH Monsters Raphalos if they literally had a child, which is question if Raphalos was a female. But yeah, still, this is literally the end result. And it's pretty much impressive and a pain in the ass as well since uh, these joints that is literally on all the three wing parts and of course on the uh, separate, the separate wing part down here since all of this is just separate pieces which is amazing. And of course since the instructions also stated that uh, everything that you have is pretty much can be inserted and it actually, as I'll show you, you just remove this piece like so, it can literally separate and it can clip into place. But it is also on the system that is, I would call the Figma SX Figure Arts Swivel Hinge System. And I'll show you this as a comparison. There's a hinge here and a rotation system for on the, on the tip where the hands usually are, usually are inserted and on where the end where it literally connects to the arm. So you literally get rotation here and of course a hinge system and you rotate it to get more motion. And this is literally what uh, is going on with uh, Ghidorah's wings since you can literally just separate them like so. I'll hire up a camera. You can literally get a spread but you can also get a rotation to get more motion and you can literally rotate this part and you can just fold it up like so and what this is supposed to do is to accommodate for the uh, the walking pose which I will show you an image right here because doing it on camera would be a pain in the ass but yeah it is a pos possibility and you, it is also even cool when it is also literally standing up with those f wings folded and it's just impressive but yeah the same goes for this arm, it's literally on a swivel and hinge system, which again, you do need to be careful what you're doing. And the only thing that you know that it's literally separated, if you see this seam, which indicate which direction it's going. But yeah, I will show you an example right here. What you need to do is just fold it like so, and then like so, and then for the third one, you just do it like so make sure that this wing is folded in and boom now you have the wing folded up 
and it looks pretty impressive. But of course it looks a little bit weird, but hey, c'est la vie, they did what they could do. Yeah, the overall articulation is, I will say, uh, superior to the SA Small Starts, but I do wish there was a little bit improvement. And yeah, you do be careful that because if you actually pose the swing a little bit uh, weirdly and that you have this swing and the hinge just goes downward, it will droop. However, there is a way to actually get him into flying pose. However, you do need this kind of uh, flight stand that is sold separately together with the chest cradle sense. Not only do you get the... Uh, it's a little bit tricky, but the end result, you will get him flying. But yeah, that's literally all I want to say. But yeah, it's really impressive. But uh, it is also, but also be careful when you also post this guy because you will have paint scraping, which is inevitable. For accessories, it comes with free stands, free support arms. Two hooks for a supporter of the wing, and of course a chest cradle. It's pretty similar to the SE Monster Arts, however, unlike the SE Monster Arts, this chest cradle actually supports the overall figure and does not just cradle under the crotch and then still falls over. This is literally meant for literally when you display the figure so the figure doesn't shelf dive, and of course, it works. And here's something that is just incredible, which is the stance. You know my kind of uh, opinion about the uh, Hayato stance, which uh, they usually were pinned and it was kind of a dumb decision to do since when you literally have something that is pinned, it will be difficult to literally tighten the joints and literally try to adjust, well, the stability of that support arm. However, they now have actually fixed it and actually made it so you can now screw it, which is amazing. And is it just me or does these support arms feel a little bit more solid than they usually be? I don't know, but uh, kudos to Hire to actually listen to, well, their customers since I actually started to like these stands. But I still prefer the beam, which... I do know that there's going to be a repaint of King Ghidorah, and if you do anti-gravity beams, also make it light, light near the top of the wings as well, please. But yeah, once you have to assemble it, it just looks, well, just peak perfection. Okay, maybe not peak per perfection in, in reality, but I shake in this table and it doesn't tumble over. So, in general, this kind of really works, and I am actually really happy that they fought this through. And of course, uh, yeah, but I still wish that it, he came with beams, but other than that, these accessories are vastly superior than uh, SH Small Stars, guarantee. Now, size comparison. Here we have him next to Doom Slayer. Here we have him next to Mecha King Ghidorah from SH Small Stars. Here we have it next to Burning Godzilla, and of course here we have it next to Essex Figure Arts uh, Spy X Family, and you will see the presence and the overall size of this guy. Even they are shocked. And of course here we have them ne next to Rodan, Mafra, and of course Godzilla. And let me just say, this King of the Monsters dis display is just incredible. Uh, don't expect me to display this with my Essex Monsters King Ghidorah since I already sold that bastard off long time ago. So, uh, yeah. So, uh, my final thoughts. The Higher Toys King Ghidorah is an extraordinary, but not a perfect, because no figure is perfect, but it is th the most superior King Ghidorah 2019 figure on the market right now. And I highly recommend you pick this guy off if you like King Ghidorah or you're a fan of a King of the Monsters 2019 or you just want a really good King Ghidorah figure. As I stated before, the uh, he is not uh, long, no longer available at Gundamit since this guy was overall shipping that I waited for so long. Really took a while, so I apologize. 
But uh, if the higher, if uh, you're listening, if you're actually doing a kind of special co special color version, and it comes with a um, electrical uh, anti gravity beams, make sure to also do the um, electrical beams for the tip of uh, his wings, and you might print money. And wait, that's all I had to say. Thank you all so much for watching. And of course, leave leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you all then. And also, save smart, spend smart. And you might have a product that, will, that might satisfy you. Especially with this false key.